Recall that the chiller's condenser is cooled with water. Water absorbs heat while cooling the condenser. We have to cool the hot water and reuse it to effectively cool the condenser. The device used to cool hot water from the condenser is a cooling tower. Cooling towers are large boxes designed to remove heat from water by spraying it down through the tower. The main components of a cooling tower are basins, fills, nozzles, drift eliminators, and fans. Next we'll learn more about these components. Basins are located at the bottom of a cooling tower. They collect the cooled water that flows down through the tower. Fills slow down the falling of water and spread it over a large area to increase water-to-air contact. Nozzles are attached to the hot water pipe. These spray water on the fills for cooling. They work similar to garden sprinklers. Drift eliminators are typically installed above the hot water pipe. They trap large water droplets to keep them from escaping. Fans can be installed at the top or bottom of a cooling tower to circulate air throughout. Let's watch a video to understand the inner workings of a cooling tower. First, warm water is sprayed from the top using nozzles, and outside air enters from the bottom. As the water flows down the tower, fill spread it over a large area to increase water-to-air contact. This process reduces the temperature of water using evaporation. Then, the cooled water is collected at the bottom of the cooling tower. This cooled water is used again to cool the condenser. 